What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darku and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on PokeMMO. We're doing some breeding services, that's right, where you basically charge somebody to breed the Pokemon that they want because they can't be bothered to do it, and you have time and they have money. That's what we're doing. Anyway, yeah, so excited. This is my first one of ever doing it and we're doing it for Vaynex, and they want a Blaziken with 31 IVs across the board, not special attack, obviously and a jolly nature now this isn't it this is an example and you know they go from like one mil plus on the uh, gtl but obviously we're going to try and do our absolute best to not only make the blaziken as cheap as possible whilst getting all the stats that they want but also obviously show you guys how to breed if you don't know how to breed and if you wanted a blaziken etc you could do the same sort of method now as you can see at the top left we are extremely poor, it is actually quite hard to be a CC and a normal player of the game, it's like impossible to keep money or keep afloat, but we do have some very very cool friends and LJ is one of those, and as you can see they've sent me a million to play with. So thank you LJ, I really really appreciate that and obviously you'll get that back at the end of the video. So Vanex hasn't actually even got a tour check to send me so we're going to have to literally buy from the very very beginning and then get our control group and then start breeding and then tally up how much it all costs because what I'm going to do is basically tally up how much the entire breed is going to cost and you know charge them that plus like 50k for like my time and that's literally it. Alright, looking through all the control group categories, it looks like this Torchic here is literally the cheapest one I've ever seen on the market for at least one 31 IV. So this is only costing us like maybe 15k, we'll put this down. I'm going to grab that as quick as we can, because that was actually a very cheap one to see on the market. So now that we've got this female Torchic with already a 31 stat, and it was only 14, maybe 15k, that was super cheap for what it was. That was actually a really, really good snipe, and obviously we can see that the air group is a field air group as well. What we're going to do now is open up the GTL and we're going to go to advanced search, gender for the female, egg group of field because that is what Torchic is in and we're going to try and find all the females, with, we're going to find like 7 more females with 31 defense to be our main category. Search by lowest price and here we go. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven so that was all 4k except the last one okay so here we have our breed box as you can see we've now got eight of the female control group we've got a defense for 31 on every single one of these so they've all got 31 defense and again that's the control group so now we're going to get eight males with different kind of stats below them and see how cheap we can make this all right so now we're going to pair them with the males so we need eight males we're going to need four attacking males two hp one special defense and one speed of the egg group so let's find out now pokemon listings let's go gender we want male we want the field egg group and we're going to try and get the correct ones again we need the we need four attacking ones of this the lowest price so we'll say 5k one two three four oh, that's, that's like five one two three four that was five five for the next one we're just going to put them over here so we know what we've got and what we need to get and we need two HP males. Lowest one is 4k, and then we've got a 4.3. And we need one special defense and one speed. 4.2, one speed. The speed is ridiculous. 7.6. We're going to chuck them in and tally up how much those are. Right, so now we have to buy the bands and obviously we have this is going to cost us an arm and a leg uh but we do have the eight control group of defense so the defense belt here we need eight of those and that's going to cost us eighty thousand for just the females to hold for the males we have four attacking ones so that's forty thousand for those and we have two male ones with hp so that's another 20 grand we have one special defense that's 10 and we have one speed so that's another 10. Now if we go to our breeding box, we're just going to put the bands on the correct ones. So for instance, the defense ones, we're going to chuck the defense bands on. And you know, for the males and stuff, obviously they all have different ones. This one has attack, we'll give them the red bands as well. And we're just going to finish that for the entire box. Okay, I've now put all the items on and I've also paired them up in the correct order of how I want to breed them. So for example, this defense one will breed with an attack. And then I will make this one obviously female. 
and then this one here which has defense as well will breed with uh, HP and we're going to make that male and then they will later on breed together same with this and this this and this they will breed with together like as a, all four of them and then these four will breed together then these four and then these eight and then these eight and then eventually all 16 will uh, be put together it sounds a bit awkward but uh, like I have an image which you can look at which basically does the exact same thing as this if you don't quite understand video wise but we're gonna go ahead and crack on with this we're gonna start with the first four once again we're gonna put the Torchic and the Ratata together so we have the HP and defense they're gonna be put together I'm gonna force this to be female because we want to keep it as the Torchic as the Torchic is the main one we'll be breeding all the way through we're going to go yes to this one, making sure they're holding the right bands. We're going to pick the gender, and we're going to pick the female, and that'll cost 21,000. We'll say yes. Ah, it's you! You're just in time for your egg! And then we want yes. And we're just going to put it in a good old Pokeball for now. Then our first control group here, once again, we'll go yes, 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 blah, 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 blah. Put these two together, which were attack and defense, and we're going to say yes to this one. And we're going to make this one specific gender as well. We're going to make this one male. And this is only going to cost us five grand. That's not so bad because they're typical field types. We'll take this. Yes, and that's another Pokeball. Thank you very much. And then again, so later on, these two will obviously breed together. And that's like the whole control group system. Obviously, I'm back in the box and I'm going to put them in the correct order they were in before. So there's Torchic here. And obviously, a Zigzagoon Puchiana thing was here. So we'll put them there so we don't get confused on what we were doing. We're just going to take these extra four as well so we can continue doing our breeding. Here we go with this one then. We want these two together which is attack and defense. We'll say yes to this one. We want to make this one female. That's only five grand, not too bad. And obviously a Pokeball as well. We'll do this one as well. And this one will make male out of these two here. So we want defense and special defense. We'll say yes. We're going to make this one male. Five ground, not too bad. And we'll put it back in a Pokeball as well. Here we go, there's those two done as well. We'll put them back in the box. Next up then we have these four. Like so. I'm gonna take those and breed those as well. These two together, we're gonna make female. That costs another four, uh, five grand plus Pokeball. We go that was this one so that's turned to a lily pup female and then the next one we're going to make male that's our defense and speed we want the male of that one so that's another five grand and another pokeball and then that's that one done as well and the last group then these four so attack and defense we're going to make this one a female that's another five grand and a Pokeball. There we go. And then the next breed is going to be male with a Pokeball. So these two together, which is the uh, HP and defense. And we're going to make this one male. Five grand. Just in time for an egg. Here's your Pokeball. Now I will say ahead of time, now that we've actually finished all of these, what you could do if you have loads of time on your hands and you don't want to force the breeds, uh, which one was first? Got, I think it was like that one. Oops. Like that. Um, so if you don't want to force the breeds and you want to save at least five grand every like two eggs sort of thing. Like these two, I didn't well that one actually I did need to force Torchic female and I needed this one male. But like this one, for instance, this third egg, I could have made that no gender and whatever this came out as, like male or female, I could have just made this one forced the opposite. So I could save five grand as long as you've got loads of time on your hands. If you're just trying to get a good breed, five grand really isn't that much, but it can be painful. Now I'm going to go ahead and hatch all of these and put them in the correct order that they are in as you see them. Alright, we're back after hatching them all and we put them all in the correct order again. Now what we're going to do is just literally slide the males underneath the females right here. Hey yo! And then we're going to have to buy more bands, so we're going to get what, one, two, three, four. So we're going to have to get eight new bands. Obviously these ones at the end, we want to keep the HP on the left one. We want to keep the attack on the right one. On this one we want to keep the speed on the left Aramaka there. And we want to keep the attack on the Lillipup. We want to keep the special defense on the Zigzagoon on the left. And we want to keep the attack on the Lillipup on the right. And for our Torchic and Zigzagoon we want the attack on the left for Zigzagoon. And we want the HP from our Torchic. 
I'm just going to go ahead now and bring these back up and put all the correct items on the correct mon. So there we have it, all the items are on, they're all ready to rock. We're only going to need four Pokeballs because we're going to turn these eight mons into four mons. So I will be right back when we grab these and grab these. We're going to put them together. So here we go then, we're going to put the Torchic in and the Zigzagoon in as well. And don't forget we have to make the Torchic forced female once again so that we can carry on the Torchic line. We're going to go with female, it's going to cost us 21k, that's fine. And we're going to get it back and get the Pokeball as well. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other control group that was next to it. We're going to put the Lillipop and the Zigzagoon together. And as you can see, we've got 31 stats for attack, defense, and special defense. And we're going to make this one male, which will ask us to pay another 5,000. That's also fine with a Pokeball as well. We have our two eggs that we're going to breed later. And we're going to put them back in the box just as they were so that you guys don't get confused on which ones we have and haven't used. They go like so. And we're just going to continue on and do these other two as well. In the correct order so once again you don't get confused so lilypup daramaka so we got 31 across the board for attack defense and speed we're going to make this one a female on purpose that's it 5000 plus pokeball there we go and we're also going to do the sand dials and we're going to make this one male so sand dials in with the 31s across the board at the top we're going to like again force this one to be male Five grand plus Pokeballs. There we go. And we're going to go back to the PC and once again put the eggs together so that they are not confusing. Once again, here we go. Put that one there and put that one there. So that's again the control group that we were doing. And at some point we're obviously going to make this egg breed with this one and this one with this one. But for now I'm going to go ahead and hatch these eggs. Alright, now that the last ones are ready, we're going to put them together, like so. Again, I put them there so that I wouldn't confuse you on what's what. But we're going to pick these up now, like so. And we can actually pick them all up in one go. And we're going to have to go buy the bands for these guys as well. That's another 4 bands, that's another 40k. We want to buy the correct ones so we don't mess up. So we're going to bring up these stats. The ones that we're going to breed. So for instance, we want to keep the special defense. We're going to buy a special defense. And we're going to put it on the lily part. And we want to keep the HP, so we're going to buy a HP band. We're going to put it on the Torchic, so when they breed, they're going to breed those together. And for the other lily pup and the Sandile that are breeding together, we're going to put that lily pup up, that Sandile down here. So this Sandile, I want to keep the HP on it. That's another 10k. Uh, and then the speed for the lily pup, so that is another 10k. And we're just going to go ahead and chuck those on. And now these guys are all ready for the almost final stage. There we go then, the Torchic and the Leap Up together. And as you can see, they're real, real close to getting this. I'm going to force the breed here and force it to be female. That's another 21k. And a Pokeball. And the very last one here then, which will breed with the next one. I'll go ahead and put the Lily Pup and Sandile in. Like so, and we're going to make this one a male. Five grand and up in a Pokeball. So, this is it then. We're near the last stage. We're just going to wait for these guys to hatch. And blammo, they've hatched. So, the Torchic has almost 31 across the board, and so does the Lily Pup. What we're going to go ahead and do now is buy one speed band for this Lily Pup, which is the speed band. And then on the Torchic, we're going to buy a band as well, which is going to be the special defense. So, special defense, that's 10k. Speed band, 10k. This will be hopefully our second to last breed. So again, here's our Torchic, here's our Lily Pup with the bands as well. And we're going to have 31 across the board, except Special Attack, because we don't want Special Attack as a waste. Um, the only thing we don't know about is the nature. So we're going to have to like breed the nature after this. Hence why I said it's the second to last. We could get lucky and have the perfect nature straight away. But uh, Vanex actually wants their OT as well. So we kind of don't want the uh, nature, even though it would like save us so much more money. Uh, we kind of don't want the nature. So we're going to breed these together. This will cost again 21k because we want to keep it female Torchic. So that's 21k. I'm going to go ahead and breed that and then we're going to wait for this to hatch, see how it comes out and then we'll go along and finish the nature and more as well. One more Pokeball as well there. 
And here it is, our almost completely perfect Torchic. And I say that not because of the special attack, but the nature actually came out timid, which is not really what you want. It's great, great speed, but if you're building attack, you don't want timid. So obviously, we're going to have to breed in the nature, which is fine because we did want that because Vaynex wants their own OT, not my OT on it, which is perfectly fine. But it is finished all in IVs, and we're just looking for the nature that they want. Now comes the pain part where you're going to have to go and search for a 4 IV mon that's perfect for this. So to do this we're going to go for the male gender, we're going to go for a field egg group, and we're going to try and find the cheapest 4 IVs we can possibly get male wise with this, and the perfect nature. So again the nature they wanted jolly. So now I'm going to go through like I said every stat and just see what's the cheapest. I'll probably cut out searching but like I'll show you the end result. Alright, going through everything, it looks like the cheapest we can actually get is a 385 Psyduck. This is actually cheaper than, well, majority actually, this is actually not doing too bad, this was two hours ago. I'm going to go ahead and snipe us so a 385,000 for this one, and it's been mailed to us. So there we go, last of all then, we want the attack band, or whatever the cheapest was, if you're watching this and you want to learn yourself, whatever the cheapest was for you, the stat that it doesn't have, give that the band. So for instance, this Psyduck doesn't have the attack, it has 4 IVs, not 5, so it's missing the attack. So we're going to put the attack bracer on this so it breeds over so it'll have five IVs and we're keeping the uh, what is it the everstone on here because we want the jolly which is you know more speed less special attack and we're going to breed that nature over so we'll have in the end of this a five times IV plus jolly nature was exactly what they asked for so the brace was 10k and the everstone is about 6k on the market as well now we're going to contact Vaynex to come pick up their delivery Unfortunately, they don't want my OT, they actually want their own, so I'm going to call them over so they can take these two off my hands, and then when it's bred and finished, uh, maybe they can link it to me and I can show you guys the end result. And here's Vaynex now to trade! So we got the Torchic and the Psyduck, as you know, which are like the perfect stuff for the perfect breed. It's going to cost them, originally, like, this would actually be under a million. Under a million, it's 986,900, but I am charging 50k for just my time specifically. A lot of people charge way more, but I figured I would do it as Vaynex is a friend. So it is not going to cost anything. <laughs> Why are they chucking me random stuff? I'm guessing they're full on the box. Uh, I won't be keeping those, but there you go. Trade complete. And now, obviously, they're going to go ahead and breed. I don't know why I've got these. I'm guessing they were just like full in the inventory of Vanex, but hopefully they can uh, they can breed those two together, they'll make the perfect breed with the items because I specifically put the items on before passing them over and when that egg hatches I'm hoping that they link it to me so that I can also show you the perfect breed and we'll be very happy with it. Meanwhile big shout out to LJ once again for the million, I'm going to reply and give that one million back as you can see. There you go, massive shout out to LJ for giving me the million, I'm going to give the million back, obviously we're still poor, and we only got 50k from that, but it was worth it for a video, okay? So there you go, LJ, thank you so much for the money, I appreciate that. Now we're up by 50k, let's go, and did I do that for two hours just for 50k? You're damn right I did, um, and I didn't even get to see my OT on the original thing because <laughs> Vadex wants his OT, so feels bad, but you know, I can't wait to link it. Oh! And there we go, we got our link, ladies and gents. Blamo, Vanex OT, Jolly Nature, and perfect stats across the board. That's what we've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. There you go, ladies and gents. That was Vanex's Torchic, which cost us under a million. And like I said, I only charged him exactly what I used, plus 50k for like my time. Uh, obviously, it took a lot longer than I thought it would. So maybe my price will rise the more people ask me for it, because 50k ain't that much for the amount of time spent doing it, to be honest. But there you go, that's the perfect Torchic in a Luxury Ball as well, because Vaynex is a Chad also. Like I said, there you go, I hope you enjoyed this episode of breeding someone else's stuff, Darku's Breeding Services. I don't know if I want to keep doing this, maybe I can do like a whole video series on this. Pokemon is one of those games where it's kind of dry content, it's really hard to sort of make new content for, and like doing these breeding videos are really really cool, I think they're good to show people how to specifically for this one like make a cool Blaziken, comp ready and stuff, maybe you just want to try and sell stuff on the market and make money, or maybe you want to learn for other stuff as well, if you were doing like an attack uh, IV and you wanted nature as well, you could still follow this exact guide etc, and I think it's just really really cool to show people how to breed if they don't know. If you like this kind of content and you want more, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that business. And I'll probably see you in Pokemon Discord. Much love. Goodbye.